I'm Sarah Birch with Kingston News and here's your top headlines today, April 4th, 2024. The Kingston Humane Society, the oldest of its kind in Canada, will celebrate 140 years this summer. In recognition of its long-standing operation, a free concert will be held in Springer Market Square on Friday, August 23, 2024 at 7 p.m. This will be headlined by hometown favorite Juno nominee and three-time Maple Blues Female Vocalist of the Year, Miss Emily. Calm and conciliatory is how one observer described the scene yesterday morning at Bell Park as officials arrived to begin enforcing the City of Kingston's Parks Use Bylaw. Even so, the situation remains complex and challenging. Upon entering the park, city workers and Kingston police officers were met by a group of protesters who had moved fencing across the road blocking their path. Justice Carter had ruled that the city's ban on overnight sheltering was unconstitutional. However, he included an exception to the bylaw, allowing people who are unhoused to erect shelters in parks from one hour before sunset to one hour after sunrise. Over the 2024 Easter long weekend, the OPP issued 101 tickets for seatbelt violations on OPP patrolled streets and highways across eastern Ontario. According to a release from the OPP East Region Headquarters, initial figures show that officers across the region also laid 957 speeding tickets, plus 20 more for stunt driving or racing. On Friday, April 5, 2024, two helicopters from the Royal Canadian Air Force, a CH-147F Chinook and a CH-146 Griffin, will be flying over the city of Kingston and Canadian Forces Base Kingston. The helicopters may cause unfamiliar noise between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. The purpose of these flights is to provide familiarization, guidance and mentorship to officer cadets at RMC. The CSE has seized packages containing contraband and unauthorized items at Joyceville Institution in Kingston's northeast end. The item seized between Saturday, May 31st and Sunday, April 1st, included tobacco, cannabis, hashish, cannabis concentrate, as well as drug paraphernalia, with an estimated institutional value of $223,900. Kingston Police have shared details on an assault that took place downtown at approximately 5.30 p.m. on Sunday, March 31st, 2024. On this date, the victim was standing outside when they were approached by the accused, who without provocation proceeded to strike the victim in the head with a large rock being swung inside a sling-like piece of material. The victim then fell to the ground unconscious, at which point the accused struck the victim in the head with their foot. As a result, Kingston resident James Ferguson was arrested and charged. Kingston Fire and Rescue is activating a complete burn ban from 8 a.m. on Friday, April 5th through to 8 a.m. on Tuesday, April 9th, 2024. This coincides with the potential for hundreds of thousands of visitors to the area during the total solar eclipse weekend. For more on this story and other local news, visit kingstonist.com and subscribe. Use my code SARAHB2024 for 10% off.